Hi everyone, Jos here and in this video I will tell you more about static head. During my many years as a pump trainer I often ask our students to show me the static head. That would always give very interesting but different results. Static head is a very important component in the centrifugal pump sizing process. So therefore what do we mean by it? I will show you in this video. First I will give you the definition and then we will determine the static head in different process layouts. But first the definition. With static head we mean the distance between the medium level in your suction tank up to the medium level in your discharge tank. I will show you in a very basic draw. First I draw the pump, motor, the pump house, suction port, discharge port, suction line, your suction tank with the medium level, discharge line, discharge tank, medium level. And to determine the static head we draw a horizontal line, medium level in the suction tank, medium level discharge tank. And for this situation your static head is like this, in this first situation. But if you know the medium level can go up and go down. For example, if your medium level in your suction tank goes down, like this, the horizontal line will be like this. So, your static head will be like that. So be aware, if you calculate your static head, do it for the worst conditions. And in this case, that is number two. Let's examine a couple of different process layouts to show you how the static head differs for each situation. I start with the first one. In this drawing, you see what we call a suction lift situation. The medium level in the suction tank is below the eye of the impeller. If we want to determine the static head for this situation, we draw a line from the medium level in the suction tank. We draw a line medium level discharge tank and this distance is called the static head for this situation. If the medium level in your suction tank stays on this level and in your discharge tank on this level. We have another example for you. In this case we see a suction head situation. It's called suction head because the medium level is above the eye of the impeller. But the procedure stays the same. We draw a line medium level suction tank medium level discharge tank and this distance is called the static head. We also have a more difficult example for you. In this case you see a suction tank here in a suction lift situation and we see here the discharge tank. But your discharge piping is immersed in the medium. And now we will have two different situations. We have a situation if your discharge line is empty and we have a situation if your discharge line is already filled with medium. I will start to show you the static head for an empty discharge line. For the suction tank it stays the same in both situations. We draw a line to the medium level. For the empty situation you have to draw a line and you take the top of the upper part of your discharge line 
and this will be your static head if your discharge line is empty. But if your discharge line is already filled with medium, we take the medium level in the discharge tank and now this distance will be your static head but for your centrifugal pump sizing process you have to use number one because I already told you you have to work for the worst case situation and that is if your discharge line is not filled with medium yet. Now you know what static head is. I advise you to always make a simple sketch from your pump system because by making a sketch things like static head will be more visible for you. If you want to learn more we have a great centrifugal pump sizing course for you which covers all the different topics that are very important for making a proper centrifugal pump size. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up or two and don't forget to subscribe. I hope to see you in the next video.